What's good guys? It's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will continue to answer some of your questions that you have been leaving on my lock content videos. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first question we have here is, I just started my locks with the braid method. Do you believe that it's a good choice to start with? Now, to be honest, you know, I mean, that's a very good question because a lot of people have um, their, you know, opinions on what is the best lock method. Like, you know, I have started my lock journey with two strand twists, braids, and also instant locks. And to be 100% honest, like this is, um, I would say it's a good um, method to start with if, this is based on your hair's profile, right? So you wanna definitely more so also consider the texture of your hair. Like that is the biggest part of this, the texture of your hair. Now, in my personal opinion, from the three lock methods that I have started my lock journeys with, I would definitely say instant locks is the best method to start your locks with for me personally. And that's simply because you don't experience as much unraveling or anything like that. Your locks is pretty much already formed and you just have to go through the locking process, but your hair or your starter locks already look like locks. So um, if you were to start with any other um, method, I would definitely say consider your hair's texture and your hair's profile, i.e. density, your hair strand thickness, etc. So um, it's kind of difficult to say if for your hair, if that is the best method to start with. But if you would like my personal opinion on what is the best lock method, then that would definitely be instant locks. And I do have a video on my channel, which will be linked right here for you to go on over and check that video out if you wanna start your lock journey with the instant lock method. Okay, so the second question we have here is, do you have to crochet the tip of the strand to stop it from unraveling? And when they say the tip, they're talking like the root of the um the hair now um the answer to that is no you don't have to crochet the root you can actually braid the um the um the root and then install the two strand twist or you can use elastic bands so if you don't have access to a crochet latch hook needle those are two alternatives that you can actually use to um, secure the roots to prevent unraveling all right so moving on to the next question we have why did you remove his locks and they're referring to Jaden. now if you are not aware of why i removed his locks i am going to send you over to this video right here so you can find out exactly why because i did mention why i was going to end his lock journey and restart so if you're new to my channel and you're not sure why i did it definitely you will find the answer right here okay so the next question we have is I have a dreadlock that I've had for three years. It's thinning in the middle. I went to a optician and she said it was okay. What? But I know it's gonna break if I don't do anything. That's what the very last part did. I don't have any new growth. I don't have any new growth to put back in the lock. Can I use hair from the hair store? Yes, you can use um, extensions to um, you know, help secure that particular loose section. But you mentioned that you don't have any new growth. So you said, cause you said that it's thinning in the middle, but then you say you don't have any new growth. So is it in the middle or is it at the, the top? Because you won't necessarily need um, new growth for that. If it's thinning in the middle, what I would suggest is cutting where it's thinning, right? And then you can um, unravel the end of the, the lock that is still attached to your head and also the one that you um, cut and then you can reattach it together. And I do have a video showing how you can reattach your locks. So I'll definitely link it right here as well as in the description bar below. Okay, so continuing on, um, we have, I wish I knew how to crochet, but I can try, but I don't know how to. <laughs> Listen, when I first started crocheting my hair, let me tell you, 
I didn't know what the heck I was doing. And then I just like followed along to this guy that I saw so long ago. This was when I first in, did um, crocheting on my own locks and I still didn't really grasp it, but I do have a video on how to install um, instant locks using the crochet needle and I detail how you can crochet your hair together. So go ahead, check the video out and you will know exactly how to crochet your locks. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the next question I have. Firstly, I want to thank you for your videos. They have been super helpful. Thank you very much. I'm so happy that my videos are helpful. I have noticed in the past month that my front locks have been thinning at the roots. This is not the first time this is happening. It happened before, but it started to fill out by itself, but this time it is taking longer than usual. Please, what can I do? And this is very interesting because I experienced this before and I still, it's something I'm still dealing with where my hair will grow in and then it will start thinning out again. I actually went to um, a dermatologist um, to find out what was going on. And even recently, um, you know, I went to the doctors to get some blood work done because I'm like, what is going on with me? So um, the first thing I would say is definitely go to the doctor and find out what's going on. Explain to them that your hair grows and then it will thin out and it's something that occurs quite often because that's exactly what I did. I'm actually waiting for my results right now. But um, what I would say, just based off this, because um, you're saying, um, you know, in the past month, the front locks have been thinning at the roots. Now, there could be a, a, a lot of different things as well that could be, um, you know, causing this. Like I mentioned, it could be something that's going on internally. So definitely go to the doctor and get that checked out. But if it's nothing internally, it could be that you are retwisting too tight and then your hair is thinning out. So I would definitely say um, reduce the frequency of which you're retwisting and also be very mindful of how tight you're retwisting your hair. Um, I don't know. Um, it could be some form of alopecia as well because that's what I feel my thing is which is why I went to the doctor because I want like a professional to really tell me what is going on with my hair so it could be that um, hormonal imbalance you know stress anxiety and all these things which I've spoken on and how that can actually impact your hair growth but I would definitely say in this instance if it's nothing internal it could be that but if it's not any of these that you're retwisting too tight or anything else that I mentioned it could more so be that um, you need to go to the doctor and find out what's going on with you so I hope you found that very helpful because that is something I'm doing as well okay so moving on to the next question we have are you from Jamaica yes of course that's where i was born that's where i grew up i spent well i can't even say most of my life there now because i've been living in the uk for over 20 years and i came to the uk when i was a, a little girl i was about 15. <laughs> so yes um jamaica my bond jamaica my grow I have shared this with you guys before, but I know some of you guys are new to my channel, but the answer to that is yes. And I notice a lot of people are always asking, where's your accent from? Oh, I think it's Trinidadian. Oh, I think you're from the Caribbean. We are from Jamaica. Okay, so moving on to the next question we have. Some of my locks at the front started coming loose because my hair is short. Should I rebraid it or what? <laughs> with this would this disturb the locking process? So, should you rebraid it or what? You should rebraid it. <laughs> and no, it won't disrupt the locking process. I have spoken about this so many times. Um, you know, just reinstall your braids and the, you know, that lock will eventually lock over time. So, don't worry about it. Your locks will lock either way. Okay, so moving on to the next question I have. I think my hair is two inches. Can I still get my hair braided? Yes! Of course. Now, when I um, installed my son's braid locks, which will be linked right here, I believe his braid, his hair was about two or three inches. Now, as long as the person you're going to can actually manipulate your hair to 
put it in a braid, then of course, yes, you can do it. Go ahead, get them braid locks installed. <laughs> okay, and the final question I am answering today is, when reattaching your locks, does the section need to be larger than the size of the lock you are reattaching? No, 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 it doesn't have to be larger. What I would say is, you can make it large if you want, but I would say the best thing to do is part your section to make it align with how thick your locks is. Because for example, if your locks is quite thin and then you put a big section, you're gonna be like, what the heck is going on here? Like a big section with a fine, thin lock ain't gonna look good. Or if you have a small section and a massive lock, that can, um, over time, if you know, if you lock, if you reattach it really good and you keep retwisting your locks, that particular lock, if it's too big, can be too heavy for that small section and then you can rip your hair out. So I would say, um, make sure that the sizing is appropriate to um, the lock that you are reattaching. So hopefully that is very helpful. Okay, so remember to go ahead and check the cards above as well in the description bar below for all the videos I have suggested and also videos that are similar to this one. And if you found today's video very helpful, then please be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. So until next time, we will be right back here with another video.